investigation with a few leads the Camp Crusader wanted to follow up on. So what have you been up to then? Well, to tell you the truth, I was at the house working on the camp menu. And what do you guys think about frog legs this year? <laughs> and have I ever told you that you're my favorite security guard? Unfortunately for us, every lead turned out to be a dead end. That's him. That's the guy. He tried beating me in some humanified cartoons a couple years ago in a game of basketball. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. What's wrong with this guy? With the help from some trophy enhanced children. Can't squeeze your way out of this one, Sticky Pete. I'm coming for you. That was just rude. But there was one, one suspect that the Crusader tried to avoid. He never thought he'd see her face again, but he had no choice. The trophy's missing. Any idea where it could be? I'll tell you what. You don't waste our time. I won't waste yours. Can you just tell us any- I'm Psycho Sally. I'm Psycho Sally. Come on, Sally. We don't have all day. <laughs> just answer the question, Sally. Answer the question! Settle down, kids. We don't have all day. I tell you what, if you don't waste my time, I won't waste yours. All right? Good deal. Now, we've all had another great year of camp once again. And as you can imagine, we struggled narrowing down who our nominees were for Camper of the Year. Unfortunately, there can only be one winner. <laughs> of course. No surprise here. This camper has been on time for all the activities. He's picked up trash without being told. And he's been respectful to the campers and the counselors. But most importantly, he had an open heart for God all week. So, without further ado, this year's Camper of the Year winner is... Ezekiel Daniels! So is this important to the story, or...? <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Got sidetracked. Anyway, I was in the middle of a flashback when all of a sudden... Oh! oh. Sorry, security guard. I didn't, I didn't see you there. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Um, what you got there, Bill? Uh, oh, this? Uh, I was just delivering this birthday cake. Hmm, a birthday cake. Who's it for? Oh, uh, um, pass, pass, pass for Aaron. Um, we're having a surprise party for him, so don't tell anybody. Mm-hmm. Well, isn't that nice? I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Well, uh, better get going. Uh, good to see ya. All right, I'll, uh, see you at the park. I mean, uh, meeting. I knew that would be a waste of time. Who was that? Oh, that was just Bill. By the way, we just got invited to Pastor Aaron's birthday party. Although I didn't ask when and where it is exactly. Birthday? His birthday was in March. Follow me.
Looks like Bill's waiting for someone. Why, that dirty Bill. Wait, how can you tell? I can zoom in with my mask. I'm somewhat of a part-time inventor, part-time vigilante. Well, obviously you don't know the handbook as well as you thought. Rule number one, no technology. Why do you always say that? We all know what rule number one is, but you always say rule number one this, rule number one that. Uh, I don't know, I guess I do it for emphasis. As long as I get- Shh. Look. What do you know? It was Andy this whole time. Andy? It can't be. I don't know what it is, but the cooks are up to something. And we're gonna need some backup. Where are we gonna find backup? I have some people in mind. For a while now, I've been assembling a team of fellow vigilantes, each one representing a camp rule. Together, we are a team of unstoppable rule enforcers. We are the Regulators. Wow, just when you think you've seen everything. Good to meet you all. You can never be too clean. Okay. Welcome aboard. I'm a big fan of your work. Every time I hear you say, rule number one, no horse play. Chills, man. Absolute chills. Mm, well, thank you. Um, I would shake your hand, but, well, you know. It's okay. Darkness is my canvas. Um, actually, I was just gonna say no PDA. Alright, team. It's time to execute Operation Cook Parade. Now remember, the goal of this mission is to retrieve the camp trophy. So do whatever is necessary. In a non-violent manner, of course. Right. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? I need to ask you a favor. I have some business to take care of. So can you lead the team while I'm gone? Uh, they seem to be a bit of a handful, but I think I can handle it. Great. I'll join up with you guys soon. But before I leave, I have something you're gonna need. I don't know what to say. Don't mention it. Just a little something I've been working on. Are you ready for this? Time to suit up. <laughs> <laughs>